Hey guys, thanks for tuning into my channel. So I just got done applying conditioner all in my hair just as I would do if I was doing a wash day and this is not in the shower because I just did my curly, my straight to curly routine. So I'm just going to go ahead and film this video because I thought it would be a good time to show how I detangle my hair the different ways that you can detangle your hair. So the three different tools you're going to need for the three different ways that you can detangle your hair is a hand and this is all you need as a hand for one. So if you don't want to spend any money, it's free. You can definitely use your fingers to detangle. Then I have a wide tooth comb that I picked up from Sally's, but I had this since like I first became natural. It's pretty sturdy and I think it's only like $2.99 or something. And then I have this D tangler brush and this is not the 1099 uh dimming brush but this is like one from my local beauty supply store i'm not sure how good like the actual one work the real one because i had i don't have it but this does the trick so for a long time i stopped using combs and brushes like within my hair routine just to see if you know was i yanking out my hair and stuff using different tools but I found that it wasn't the tools that I was using but the technique so that can cause a lot of people to like take stuff out their hair regimen because they feel like it's ruining their hair but in reality it could just be the way that you're using the tools or you're using the product so I'm just going to show you guys three different ways that I detangle my hair and the techniques that I use so for this first section I am going to be using my fingers so my hand and this is a pretty large section so for a section like this you want to section this off into two so I like to split each section I work in into two sections and I'm just going to clip it into this section all right so this is how big this section is and I find that this technique can work on short hair long hair any type of hair any length of hair so this is just what it looks like and being that I'm finger detangling I'm just going to take one more section out so I have that section and then this section here I'm splitting it again so I'm gonna have a total of four subsections in this one section for finger detangling this is what I like to do I like to start so I'm just rubbing my fingers down my hair you can do it in any motion so it's like a flat iron motion so you're just rubbing like straight down as if you were flat out of your hair this allows me to fill any knots or tangles i have before i begin to finger detangle what i'm going to do is section off a piece from that while i still hold this in this hand i'm just going to hold it taut i mean you can let this go if you want i'm just going to hold this taut and then I'm going to start to like separate my hair where it naturally separates. So where this space is right here, this indicates a natural separation. So I'm just going to pull it down and smooth it as if we were still using that flat iron technique. So I'm pulling my hair where it naturally separates and I'm just pulling down. And then I'm going to do that for this whole section. And then I'm going to go like to the bottom of my hair. So I'm gonna to go to the bottom of my hair and I'm just going to run my fingers through it. And I don't have any tangles in my hair. So, I mean, nothing's there. But if it wasn't not there, you'll be able to feel it because you're using your hand. That way you can indicate where the knot is versus a comb and a brush it may be just snatching the knots out. So I'm just working my way up. And this process does take the longest, but I mean, okay, see so right here, I'm kind of getting a snag, but I'm just going to gently open out my fingers and it's gone. So this process does take longer, but um, I find that this is the easiest way to observe your hair. So now I'm just going to take my two fingers, these two, and I'm just going to stick it in between this as if I'm a comb and as if my fingers are a comb and I'm just going to run it down. 
and I'm just gonna do that till I don't feel any knots. And you don't have to go this slow. I mean, I go pretty fast, but it's only because I've been doing it for a long time. But this is just for people that don't really know how to finger detangle or feel like finger detangling doesn't work. So that section is done. So then I'm gonna move to this section again. I'm just feeling for any knots. I don't feel any. I'm gonna start on my end. Still don't feel any knots. And I'm just gonna work my way up. So now I have my fingers as like the teeth of a comb and I'm just putting it in my hair. Not feeling anything. So then I'm looking where it naturally separates. Still not finding anything, so that's good. I don't have any tangles, so that section is done. And I like to twist my hair up after I detangle because this allows for my hair to stay tangle free. If I have a deep conditioner in my hair, um, anything like that, I will twist my hair up and let it sit. And then when I rinse my hair out, I sometimes wash my wash the conditioner out and twist, or I will um, take them out and wash my hair and then put it back in the twist. So here we are going to use the wide tooth comb. And for this method, you don't have to split your hair up as much. So what we're going to do is, again, fill for any knots because we don't want to use the comb and rip out the knots, but furthermore, use our fingers to fill if any knots are there. So I don't fill any knots. So start from the bottom. I'm just going to comb through my hair and just work my way up. You never want to start at your roots because that's how you can yank your hair out. So you start from the bottom and you're just combing through. And sometimes I like to hold it taut. So stretching it out and comb. So that way I can really observe what I'm doing. So before when I was using a comb, I would start at the bottom, but then I would still end up combing from the roots first and it would just like yank my hair out. So there we go. All right, so for my fingers, I didn't really have any, for my fingers, I didn't have any shedding. From the comb, I have one, two pieces maybe, so that's still not bad. We are going to use the off-brand dimming brush. Now, I stopped using the brush because I felt like it was like snagging my hair. But like I said, it was just a technique. So I'm gonna split this into two. And I'm just gonna split it again. So we'll start with that back section. All right, so again, filling for any knots. This just allows me not to like pull my hair out my head using styling too. So I don't feel anything. I kind of like go in and detangle first. With the brush, it's the same technique as the comb. You want to start at the bottom and just gently glide it through. One thing I like about the Demi brush is when I do use it to detangle and I rinse my hair out and I style it, especially for washing goals, it really does reduce the frizz when it's time for me to style my hair. And I don't know if that's because my hair is already like defined, my curls are clumped. So this tool really allows my curls to like clump up. As you can see, it's no product, like styling product in my hair, it's just conditioner. And look at that curl. All uh, like just from conditioner. So that section is done. And we're just gonna repeat. I don't feel any knots. So I'm just going to take the brush and just glide it through starting from the ends, working all the way up to the roots. So if you do have a kinky textured hair, don't think that you can't use styling tools because you can. It's just all about the technique. So look at those curls clump up. So pretty. The brush didn't have 
I'm actually going to have a lot of shedding needs and my hair doesn't shed a lot so that's probably why. So yeah guys that is my three different type of ways to detangle your hair. I hope you guys learned something today. If you have any other techniques that you use regardless of what it is you can leave it in the comments below so we can start a conversation on it and just share with others what you like to do so that wraps up this video i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget the thumbs up and click that subscribe button below and i'll see you guys in my next video bye